Let's examine how phase mode works on an ABR barcode reader. I have barcode manager software open. Notice I'm starting from default settings. So you can see everything that gets changed. I'll max out my brightness settings so I can see I have it pointed at a timer on my computer screen. I will increase the algorithm complexity setting for data matrix to make sure that I can demonstrate what happens when you have a fairly long decoding time, like a couple hundred milliseconds at this setting. In this case, there is no barcode present to decode because I just want to show how the ABR keeps taking images to try to find a barcode. We'll change to phase mode and I will set up my input for PNP. So I have a photo eye that will start the reading phase, creating the phase on event on leading edge, and then end the reading phase at the end of the photo eye signal. And I'll leave this at default for now, continuous setting, taking images as fast as it can during the reading phase. And note this buffer setting is at the default of two. I will leave that at two for now to show what happens. And then to demonstrate this by showing the actual images it's taking, I will add an image saving condition and leave these at default settings, saving all the images into the internal device buffer, the memory of the ABR itself. And now I'm ready to demonstrate. I will disconnect the software to make sure the ABR is in normal run mode, able to run as fast as it can. And then I will trigger it once. And now to empty those images it just took out of memory and view them, I need to reconnect to it. What we'll see is that the first two images it took were about 20 milliseconds apart. And then after that, the images spaced out more to more like 300 milliseconds apart. Because once that internal buffer in memory filled up, it kept decoding these images and it waited to take this image until it finished decoding the first two in memory. That's important. I could have increased that buffer, but it would still fill up eventually and then start to decrease its rate of image acquisition. Here is a way to visualize what we just saw happen in phase mode with the acquisition trigger type left at the default setting of continuous. You see the first two images taken very close together and then the third image because the buffer is full after the first two it's delayed a bit longer to wait for the first image to finish processing to make room in the buffer for the next image. This keeps the processing from getting too far behind the acquisition. Let's say I have an application where a part moves past the reader very quickly, but then there's a large amount of gap or wait time in between that and the next trigger, where it could keep working on the images it saves and keep decoding. One way that might work better for those applications are the other modes of acquisition trigger where you can e either manually control the rate with periodic or use delay to control each and every image timing. And so in delay we can set up a burst of images like this where it will take one image and then another image 25 milliseconds later and then 25 milliseconds after that a third image and then stop taking images and it will just spend its time working on decoding all three of those images in memory. 
assuming the buffer is big enough. So I'll raise this to three so I can buffer all three of those images. So this is what we should see happen. Three images taken very close together even before the first image finishes processing and then the processing of the last two happening after that. Now we will repeat that test. I will trigger it once. Reconnect to see what happened. Here we can see we took three images very quickly, almost too fast for my timer to be able to reflect how fast they were taken, about 25 milliseconds apart in short succession, allowing it to take images very quickly. And then after that, move on to decoding them while the images are stored in memory. So it probably took this image while it was still decoding this image and then moved on to process this image and this image at the end.